are all very excited about this student initiated project. Learning outside has been one of the highlights of the year for both students and teachers. Understandably, the students were really disappointed when colder weather arrived and the tents on our campus were removed for the winter months. They mentioned their sadness to our middle school and upper school STEAM coordinator, Mr. Bartels. And just like that, a student initiated design thinking challenge was born. So the design thinking process is a human centered process which focuses on the user and it starts by developing and further understanding what the problem is and they do that through a series of interviews and connecting with the, the human experience and then you take that human experience and all that you've learned from it and you start to design for those individual needs by creating prototypes and getting feedback and again once again trying to design for the user. It's just a better environment to be outside because especially when it's nice outside it just you know you just feel more connected. I think it's very calming and like enjoyable being out in the fresh air and not being inside. We can spread out a lot more and there's a lot more things to look at and it, it just feels like we're not in an enclosed space anymore. Like it feels like we can be free. During the discovery phase, the middle school group created open-ended questions and conducted interviews across the campus. They practiced their research skills and gained a deeper understanding of the importance of inquiry, critical thinking, and listening to others. So you think we should start simple and maybe let teachers and students use the space as they would like and then make it things more permanent from there? I would say like most things, um, if you over design too soon, you don't leave the possibility of redesigning. And then some things that were, that really stood out to us were school, that they said were school not separated from life, but in the middle of life and that it was safe connected, comfortable, consider lightened acoustics, discovery, open, welcoming, feeling community, community, and collaborative. As we move forward into the next steps of this process, the middle school students will be passing along their finding results and research to the upper school students, where they will be taking everything middle schoolers gathered to create prototypes. They'll then be looping back to the middle schoolers to think about the user, and we can all together create the best outdoor learning spaces. I think it'll be really helpful to see what the middle schoolers give, give to us because it's good to have input from people who are actually going to be using that space so we can, we can know who we're designing the space for and what their exact needs are. So the tool that we're using in my class is the Unreal Engine. It's created by Epic Games to create Fortnite which has been massively successful. It's also used to make the Mandalorian and increasingly it's used as a tool to visualize in the automotive industry and architecture and it's just growing by leaps and bounds where we can use this 3D tool. In the upper school, Jer Williams students are using tools like SketchUp to make higher quality, more photorealistic versions of the buildings around campus, which we will then place into the Unreal Engine to replace the crude mock-ups that the middle school and upper school students that I work with are currently working on. Our project, we taken a LiDAR mapping of the campus and we've set it into Unreal Engine and from there we're building the buildings around campus to see what it would look like if we built in another structure like the one that's right here because we're thinking about uh, ideas for uh, uh, structures that will be here uh, instead of temporarily. If we can create a space that's a lot more comfortable to be outside in then kids can be more productive in school. And when we talked about the idea of the outcome of it might actually be a physical structure that persists that might actually have their name on it that really caught them the idea of having some kind of legacy of doing some kind of work here that persisted beyond just a letter grade it's a pretty cool idea wow i don't know it's like a legacy it's been so amazing and inspiring this year to see our students learning hands-on on our beautiful campus in nature one of our most wonderful shining stars on this campus. I can't wait to see what the students are going to establish 
how they're going to learn, and how they're going to create a new learning space in the outdoor classroom for generations of Cougars to come. Thank you for joining in and making this vision into a reality for Collegiate.